What is going on YouTube? Chico Bob here and I'm bringing you guys a brand new YouTube video. Um, we will be rebuilding the Washington Wizards so we can get Bradley Beal some help. Yes, because this guy's dropping 50 points a night and gaining all these L's. So we need to change that for him. I mean, he'll get more L's this season, but all right, we'll, we'll make sure that he gets a championship in the next season. So we're going to be doing this in a one year, so it's not going to be really realistic and we'll probably get rid of John Wall, even though they probably won't do that in real life. I just think it's 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 needed it's just if they need a championship asap they need to get rid of john wall's contract and hopefully we can pair that with like a great like pick that's in this draft if we get like a number one i mean not number one but if we get like a top 10 pick but we're gonna simulate to the end of the season uh, i'll see you guys there all right guys we're here at the end of the regular season we went 32 and 50 um uh, not bad but we got Giannis with the mvp rookie year john Morant, all the same players um did our guy make it uh bradley beal made the third team really great to see uh we didn't make the playoffs which is expected uh quickly looking at the player stats this was this is what it was uh john wall came in late uh we got 29 points for beal and everyone else played really decent not great though beal had a hard carry for the team uh we'll try to make a great trade in this offseason hopefully we get a good pick here uh and that's what we can do with it um do we have a chance of getting first uh we have three percent chance and we've are the 10th pick i think i'm gonna package that with one of these guys let's make sure we get rid of our coach i don't really like this coach not Scott brooks not really good we're gonna make mike and we'll get rid of this assistant coach also and pick up uh, let me pick up someone else i don't use okay let's just pick up Okay, and that should be it. Uh, let's go to the NBA draft and let's try to okay trade find John Wall and this 10th pick. Who can we get? We can get Tobias Harris, Josh Richardson, Zach Levine, Thomas Sapolonsky, Kemba. This is a little weird trade because they're about the same overall, but uh, but Kemba's making slightly less money. And his but his plays better. Um, that's an interesting trade to look at. We can get Jamal Murray, which I think could be a good fit for the team. Like not just for now, but in the long run. And he plays slightly good defense. And we pick up another backup point guard, so we can not need to sign one in the off season. We can get Derrick Rose, probably not a good fit for the team. Uh, Devin Book, and we can pick up Ricky Rubio. We can make and we can pick up. interest i feel like you can't pass up an opportunity to have well devin booker and bradley beal on the same team will make sense devin booker can run the point guard i mean neither of them can play defense neither can d-low so like and with and he's younger and we pick up i have to do this trade this it's, it's a no-brainer so we're just gonna send him to the end we probably don't have another good pick so what Okay, I was about to say, who did the Suns draft? Samuel, yeah. The thing we traded that we didn't really need that. We don't need him. Uh, team player option will decline him. And let's go to the free agency. I don't really think we have money because we have it a lot. And yeah, yeah we hardly have. We have 70 mil. Uh, Davis doesn't want to sign with us again. Mahimni, we don't need him. So we're going to need a backup center real quick. Um, go to best overall. Backup center. I like. Panther. Um, I had him in the last few videos and I think he plays really well. Um, we can pick up McGee too, but just for the age, I think we're going to pick up Panther. Uh, we'll give him for two years. We don't need him that longer than that. And then we'll pick up a better power forward. Uh, if we still have cap, it's fine. Like, boy, first. And I'd, hopefully it's still there. Uh, no, we can't sign him again, but that's fine. Uh, I don't see anyone here that I want to sign, but I can sign Marvin Williams, kind of old though. Uh, Skyla here. Sign Marquis. Even though he's on the Lakers right now, we'll sign him to one year. We'll pick up a better player in the offseason anyway, so I don't think much is like uh, any of these players are going to get that much playing time, or even if they're going to play playing time with the Wizards. So I don't really care about this draft. I don't know why I'm loading it in because it's going to be a one year challenge anyway, so. 
Let's see what our lineup is looking like right now. We got Ricky Rubio, Devin Booker, Bradley Beal. Actually, they want to put Bradley Beal at this four. And or at the three, sorry. And then they want to put in Ricky Rubio. I'm not opposed to that because I think it will help. But let's see what we does Bradley Beal's overall go up if I make him a small four? It does. Okay, I think I'm gonna do that. And he's how tall is he? Six three. Okay, I guess I guess if it goes up, I mean why why not? It, it he's not too small for it though, so that's fine. Does Devin Booker's overall go up if I make him a point guard? No, it goes down. But I mean that's fine. We'll keep him there. So our roster is just like normally looking like this. I think I want a better point guard. Um I'm gonna try to trade Hachimura and Thomas Bryant for something big here. Hopefully and Thomas Bryan, Hachimura, I know he's a young fellow in a first. He just doesn't perform well in 2K for me, so I just don't like having him on the team. This one could be good because then we can bring in a point guard and we can have him off the bench, our guy that we uh, have right now. Uh, Valanciunas, I don't think he's a great fit. We can bring in Clint Capella and I have Tyrix Maxi off the bench. Uh, we can have Montrez and um, Mitchell Robinson, Christian Wood. I think the trade I'm gonna oh this one's a little interesting. We can bring in a better center, backup center, and we're bringing up Spencer Dinwiddie. Uh, we don't really need scoring. Does Spencer Dinwiddie bring in the defense? I don't really remember. B minus. Um, not not the best I think. I like Eric Bledsoe because he can bring in the defense. I think I'm gonna do this trade. Uh, it might be interesting trade you guys might think, but I think it fits better for our team. So now we got. This lineup and now we need to get a better power forward. So let's try to see if we can pair. Let's see. I might see you. Okay. Try Mark Keith and Troy Brown, even though because he doesn't also perform in 2K, so maybe he has good trade value. We can get I like this first trade that they're giving us because we pick up two great players. This one's also good because we bring up another center for a backup. And we get in with Bielitsa, but Bielitsa is kind of old, and I don't know if that would be good for the long run. Um, I'm liking the very first trade I saw. It just I feel like it would fit better, and we can move Matisse to a small forward, and his overall will go up. I think we'll do this trade. Might give a lot up, but that's fine. We're going to make Matisse, I mean, yeah, Matisse small forward. Our overall goes up too. We'll make his backup a shooting guard. Um, and then we can see what our rotation looks like. So this is our rotation so far. We need to get a better power forward still. Uh, bench looking great. I believe we need a better center. Maybe we can get a, okay. Let's try Mo Wagner. Okay, this might be a little long shot here. Mo Wagner, Ricky Rubio, and a first. See what we can get offered for that. Anything great? And Clint Capella. I like this trade. We can get a better point guard and probably in any way like you know. Point guards come and go, so that's the trade I'm gonna do. I just we get we change first rounders too, and it gives us a better center, and then we can have Panther coming off the bench. We just need a better power forward. So let's try to see if we can get. Okay, let's go. Longa and uh, let's see anyone else that's maybe bottom of it. Bonga Josh in the first. What can I get for him? Um, small forward, we can get Kevin Porter Jr., but we don't need another small forward. We can get one of these trades are like intriguing. This one is kind of because we can move Devontae to the shooting guard spot, he does better. I think that might be just a trade that we do just to increase our bench a little bit. We can play point guard and shooting guard. Well, we can pick up Dennis Schroeder, better backup point guard off the bench. Mm, this, okay, let's see if Dennis Schroeder can defend. I'm not sure if his defense is good. How about, okay, so let's, I think I need more defense off the bench, so let's see. Yeah, I think we'll, we're going to do this trade for Dennis Schroeder. You guys might wonder why, but I, I think it's just a good fit. Still need a power forward. We have a lot of small forwards, though, so. If I make Kander a power forward, does his overall go up or one of these? That might just help us. You know, if I make Clint Capella a power forward, his overall goes up three. If I make Kander, he goes up four. Let's do that and 
because it, I don't think it really matters. Just make his backup center, and I don't know if that's a good play to do, but I think it will fit better. Um, we're gonna need a backup. A lot of things. So let's see if we can get a backup center here. Um, how much money? We Six million. Try to see if we can get the best backup center. I want a center that can shoot the three ball like Mark Gasol for one year, but Marquise Chris is younger. But I don't know how he plays in 2K. Not as well as I can do. So I think I'm going to sign Mark Gasol. He's getting old, but I think he's a better fit for this team. Um, I don't want to give him that much, but if I have to, I will. Um, let's just give him it anyways. And then how much money we got. I'm going to pick up another power forward like Jay Crowder. Out of the year, let, let, let me see what for Dario. Let's try to see Dario. I, oh, I have only the minimum uh, available, so get in. Oh, there isn't anyone great. Oh, uh, we can get or for we can get Sam Booker again. Uh, Terrence Jones. Let's just see who shoots the best three ball. Honestly, that's all we need. And we bring in the duds. Um, um, maybe best overall guy that here. He probably won't sign. Go with Marvin Williams, I guess, for the minimum. And now our rotation is interestingly better. Uh, let me fix the rotation. And his Cantor. I like our starting player. Maybe Cantor at power forward is not what I like to see. But off the bench, everything looks well. Maybe we need a do better finding we need a better we need a shooting guard and better power for it so let's see if we can pair anything or something let's see if we can get Ennis Cantor what if we do Mark Gasol and this guy in a first pick up a better center maybe we can bring in Zubak for Clarkson We'll bring in a shooting guard and a center. Oh, he can play power point guard. That might be the trade we do. I'll, I keep seeing this Rashawn Holmes trade with the Elitza, which is great because we could use a power forward off the bench. Um, just to fill in our positionings, um, I think I'm gonna do. We don't really need scoring that much. I'm gonna do this Rashawn Holmes trade. I think it fits better for us, so it will help. And I think the, in this case that we can have. Billy Elite took to come off the bench. So we got good. Uh, we just need a better shooting guard. So see Marvin William, a bunch of these guys to go. So maybe if we throw in Cantor and let's see, this guy, because he's pretty young, in a second, will we be able to get a better power forward anywhere possible? I don't know if it's like possible or not. Um we can bring in this guy and he can play the power forward because it's his main positioning. Uh, Kyle Kuzma we can bring in and we bring in Ibaka. That's an interesting, that really is. That really is an interesting trade. We'll bring in Jabari and Robert Covington to lose. I want to look at that trade a little bit. Uh, Brandon Clark, he's bringing the defense. That's really what I'm looking for. Post defense, D plus, that's good. And how about Kyle Kuzma? Kyle Kuzma does I think the trade that we have to do here is Brandon Clark for all these guys, and then we'll put this guy. So our roster looking like this now, which is better because I feel like this is more of a good fit for Brandon Clark. I don't know if how well Kendra would have done in that position, so. We got a better shooting guard, power forward. I don't even know why we have a lot of my rotation. Take it 10 again. And backup power forward. No, we have minutes for him. Everything looks well. Like, I think this team will do well. We still have another pick. Let's see if we can make a better trade here somewhere. Maybe Dylan Brooks. And uh, let me get in this guy and give me a toss. In a, let's see if we can get a better shooting guard. That's all I'm looking for here. Um, someone that can actually like score. 
Uh, Terran Spies, not very good. Um, I don't think we're going to get anything better than this. We should get this and then develop with these guys if that's like our like game plan or long term. But for right now, I think this is a better fit for all of us for this team. And I just think it will work out better. Dylan Brooks is making a lot of money though, so I don't think we'll be able to get anything better for him. Yeah, um, this roster looks pretty good. Let's see. But so maybe in this first, maybe we get a better point guard. Um, I'm not sure if there will be anything. Ready, nothing. Hey, Victor, all the depot. Can we play point guard? We can just have a stack defensive. Team. That's an interesting one. Run one year. He's less. I think this Lonzo trade through and some Nico Melli. Okay. Wait, what's our lineup going to be? We have scorers. I totally forgot. What. We have Devin Booker and Bradley. We don't need any scores. So, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do Bledsoe that first instead. And I'm going to trade for. Where is. Bonzo Ball. I think he brings Bonzo Ball brings in the defense and just a better point guard. And I think it would just be better for us. So it's, it's interesting. Interesting. Dang. Victor Oladipo. Okay. I'm going to see really quickly what Victor Oladipo's overall goes up if, or if it goes down or up if I change his overall. I mean, change his positioning. Because if it's Overall goes up, it goes down. Okay, I think then we just do that trade for Lonzo Ball. You guys might think I'm crazy, but I think it's just a better fit. Because he just do more of the pass. Bloodso doesn't do much of that. We're losing a little bit of defense, but I think it's just a better fit. And I like Lonzo, so that was that might be. Oh, they want to start Dennis Schroeder. Can Dennis Schroeder play defense? I I don't want him to start. I think I want him to be a sixth man. Like well, he'll get less. Lonzo will get less minutes, but I think that's a great fit still. Everything else looking great. Um, Nico Melli is not going to get any minutes. Maybe if we pair Nico Melli and Brooks together, to pull off one last miracle trade. Uh, for a better shooting guard. Uh, nothing seems to be there. Delon Wright is there again. Um, Jeremy Lamb, Shabazz Napier. Does Jeremy Lamb play defense? No, he doesn't. But he scores a ball pretty well. But he plays defense a little bit, I believe. Yep. I think we're just going to keep him just because of the defensive play. And he can score the ball. So I think this is the uh, team that we roll with. Our system is not fitting well, though. Hold up. Let me check. Uh, triangle fits well. Seven seconds fits well. Balance. It's all right. I think we're gonna do seven seconds. We're gonna. I don't think that's a single coach like that. So we'll just rock it with this coach. I'm gonna simulate to the end of the season. Hopefully we can get a championship this season. Obviously, but we'll have to see. If anything goes wrong, I'll stop and make a trade. But yeah, I'll see you guys at the end. All right, guys. We're here at the end of the regular season. We went 55 and 27. Really good for this team. There were a lot of games that were like one point games, which we could have won or. And that would have helped our record, but it's all right. Giannis winning MVP, RJ Hampton, Rookie of the Year, DeMarcus Cousins, six man. Uh, not our coach, which kind of sucks because it shows that there's a team better than us. Uh, I thought there wasn't any. I was gonna think I was thinking about making a trade, but it, our team just picked it up and we started doing better. So none of our team made first anything or second or third. So rookie, I don't think we have any rookies on our team. So we made the third seed, which is tough but that just shows like that there's a lot of good teams um riley beal devin booker dennis schroeder clint capella everyone basically everyone that i thought would do well did well uh, lonzo kind of wasn't doing well but i think he bought the defense he had like 1.4 steals a game i wonder if it kept um eric bledsoe that would have been better but i don't know I, I just felt like a better fit for this team um we are the third seed like i mentioned um we are decently behind the sixers but on the other side, it's like not even that close. So the Sixers won like seven more games than us. They still have the same team. Uh, yeah, they do. And they got Aaron Baines, our chief. Yeah, the team is going to be pretty good. Hopefully we don't have to go up against them 
until the finals for the conference finals uh we're against the celtics the same team so hopefully we can beat this team i'm gonna simulate the round uh it's 2-2 two -two. i'm gonna shorten the rotation just a little bit so we can get our players a little bit more minutes and yeah i like i like it so yeah, yeah that's fine and let's simulate by game by game. Hopefully this can go to the finals. We win this one by 13. I like to see that. And then we win next. All right, that's cool. Hopefully, no, nah, I didn't want to go against Giannis. That sucks. Oh, well, we have to go against Giannis. A similar game. We win that game by one point. That's huge. Honestly, like that might give us a momentum. Keep momentum. Keep going. We won the second game. These are pretty close games. Could go either way, but I'm glad we're playing. And the Sixers get eliminated in the first seed and the first round. That's actually huge. That means we have a, a better chance of winning this finals because we don't have to go up against a really stacked team. And I don't know how they lost. And the box pick up. I want to see this box go real quick. And oh, they have Anthony Edwards and Devontae Graham. Oh, I could have picked up Devontae Graham a few times in this video. But I decided not to, and they but they lose. So we're going against the Nets, and we still have Kyrie and Kevin Durant, basically the same team that we have right now. Uh, we go we lose first game by two, which sucks. But and then we lose the second game. I'm gonna shorten the rotation. We need all of our boys to play heavy minutes. Let's give Dennis Schroeder a little bit less, Matisse a little bit less. Let's give Devin Booker forty. Let's give Bo forty. Let's give Clint Capella thirty five. Uh, Sean Holmes, you can get a decent amount of minutes. Let's give Dennis Schroeder off the bench a decent amount. We should be able to take this to simulate game. Oh no, this isn't good. I thought we'd have it here. Let's join the rotation to seven. Honestly, I'm fine with Lonzo starting off the bench. I think that might be the play here. And I'm gonna I'm gonna do it a little bit. So uh, a little bit, my guys. This guy gets. I mean, time off the bench just so he can get a little bit of break. But I think we might be knocked out here. Let's then cast this to the game. Uh, it's not going too well. It's actually pretty close, and then we just choke our lead. Oh, we're losing the conference finals, guys. Um, I thought we had a chance. I thought I built a really great team. We just couldn't stop KD, Kyrie, and them. Devin Booker, Bradley Beal. I, th I think they. They don't mesh together well, even though they both like dropped 25 and he did 20. Yeah, so I mean, they work pretty well together, but I don't know. Maybe there was a trade in there that I should have done better, but Kyrie wins MVP finals. Oh, oh well. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like. Uh, comment what you guys want to see next. I know I couldn't get this uh, finals win, but it happens, you know. You can't always make it successful. So, whatever challenge you guys want me to see, uh, I mean, do, I will do them. And, let me know. I'm down for anything. Please hit that subscribe button if you're new. Uh, like if you're new and like the video. So I'll see you guys later if you guys enjoyed. And have a great day. Peace.